Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today we're going to be going over why I love my specialised status so much. I'm getting rid of it, uh, which would have been last video. So yeah, I did this now because I just wanted to go over why I really like this bike. And, you know, if anyone else is looking to buy one, then it might give you some insight. But yes, if you saw my last video, um, I swapped this out for a downhill bike. And yeah, so just before it goes, I thought I'd do a quick overview of it and what I like about it. So first of all, this is a very affordable bike. You can pick one up for about £1,800 to £2,000 for a nice example. This is the 2021 model. Obviously, there's a 2022 model. The 2022 model is identical, as far as I'm aware, except for it comes with the new X2, um, or the new shock. I can't remember what it's called exactly, but it's not the DPX2 anymore. It's the new one uh, that they just released. Yeah, for the price, this bike comes with a really good spec. You get SRAM Code R's with nice big rotors in the front and the back, which are really good. I really like the Code R's. I've also got them on the, on the Marin as well, and they're really good. You also get Fox suspension, front and rear. Fox 36 rhythm uh, in the front and a DPX2 in this case performance in the back the new ones will have the the new shock also in the performance honestly the rhythms are great I've got I've had performance elite and I've got factory on my Marin at the moment and I'd honestly say these are they're up to par they're a bit heavier but uh, but other than that they're they're fantastic fork get a factory spec one it will become with these specialized butcher grid tires which are really good actually they're very similar to uh maxis minions so solid tires work really well obviously it's a mullet bike so you have a 27 and a half inch wheel in the rear and 29 inch in the front which is another reason why i love this bike which we're going to move so, on yeah. to now this frame is awesome i really like the geometry of this bike well, i've got a size s3 which is basically a medium it's got a 462 reach i believe 462 reach 63 three odd degree head angle so it's very slack and it's quite long but my favorite bit about this bike that makes it really playful is the chain stays are really really short so they're 426 chain stays which is only a millimeter longer than the marin and the marin has short chain stays so on a full suspension it works really well it means you've got the big 29er with the 160 mil travel up in the front nice slack head angle absolutely great for plowing going through quick chunky stuff and then you've got the 27 and a half in the back, which makes it great for just playing around and makes the bike feel a lot more playful while still fe feeling nice and planted because it's still a relatively long bike, but it's not too long. So I think it's a really good mix of, of speed and playfulness mixed together. So you get SRAM's NX drivetrain, which is fantastic. Just as good as X01, which I had on my old bike. Comes with NX crank stock. Uh, I upgraded to the GX ones just because I think they look a bit nicer. So no performance issues or anything with the NX ones, but these look a little bit nicer so yeah the drop post handled by x fusion with an x fusion manic um it's a drop post the performance and build quality is very similar to the brand x ones which are are known for being very very good quality and affordable drop post so yeah it's a solid drop post it goes up it does the job it's a funky axle as well which is really cool it's not quite a quick release so it's almost a quick release but it's not quite so this is essentially your Allen key. So instead of having an Allen key, you just spin this. And this bolt here, you can loosen it off. And once you've got it tight, you can loosen this bolt off and you can actually spin this bit around. Um, so it's not sticking out off at weird angles, which is really nice because it keeps it there. And you also don't need a tool to take your, your uh, axle in and out. And the front is also a Fox quick release axle as well. So realistically this bike is very good for maintenance if you don't have many tools it works quite well for that. Other bits and bobs which I think are cool on this bike is the, the cable routing here is pretty sweet so it comes out of the frame here and it clips on there which is actually on a pivot so that can actually spin and then instead of having zip ties they've got this weird two-way thing so you can literally just pull it in and out which makes it super easy to take that cable out and it also saves you uh, using zip ties so that's also just a nice little Nice little benefit. We've also got nice clean cable routing up here for the uh, for the for the rear brake and the drop post cable and the shifter and all that. So looks super super truck. So these wheels have a pretty pretty nice hub. It's a specialised own brand hub, but it's got a fair few points of engagement. I'm not 100 percent sure, but I guess around in the realms of about 60. But it's a it's a pretty good hub for a for a, for an own brand one. Another nice addition is you actually get this uh, chainstay protection rubber. And this chain guide, they also come come stock with the bike, which is which is very nice. Nice addition because they mean the bike is quieter and you're not going to lose your chain, which is just 
a nice little added bonus. Yeah, that's why I, I love my specialised status. It is a fantastic little bike. It's affordable, it's got good spec, and personally I think the geometry on it is really good as well. So it's it's almost perfect. It's almost perfect. I don't quite know what they could change, but it's almost perfect. I'll, I'll give it that. It's a very, very good bike. Very good, yeah. It just, it ticks all the boxes, I think. So yeah, if you're looking for a bike that can go quick, but still be playful and fun, then I'd definitely recommend this bike. The only con, really, to the bike is it is quite heavy because um, it is an alloy frame and you've got all of this here and obviously it's got a more entry level um, components which are all the functionality wise they all work great the only thing you're sacrificing with them being more entry level is um, weight so the forks are heavier the drivetrain's heavier etc than the more expensive counterparts so yeah if you're a bit of a weight weenie it might not be the bike for you but if you're not too fussed about weight it's a fantastic bike. I took it to Dovey Bike Park and it was really good on like uh, park laps because obviously you'd have to pedal it. And it also pedals pretty well as well, all things considered. So it's a pretty good all round bike. And if you're thinking of getting one, I would definitely, definitely recommend it. It is fantastic. So yeah, that's the overview of my specialised status or my old specialised status. And um, yeah, hopefully it gave you guys some insight onto the bike and it was helpful and gave you some yeah gave you some good information if you've got any questions about it drop them in the comments and i will do my best to answer them so yeah make sure to like and subscribe and all that other stuff and i will see you guys in the next video